Mina-san, are you ready for ripping the drag? <laughs> I was super lazy to upload a video today, but then I thought, nope. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep uploading every day till I get 300,000 monthly views again. I can't tell you my views right now. Cause, um, let me put this politely. The only reason I won't reveal the views, it's because it's fucking embarrassing. So let's rip it. Huh, that was a bit of an overstatement. Okay, a common situation, situation we need to drag some files to some app. But imagine we don't have a file manager open but only a terminal, which makes more sense in Linux anyways, so instead of opening a file manager, which would be extra annoying if we use tiling, we can do kind of the same from the terminal. Rip, drag, and asterisk will load all the files, but we can do asterisk and da da jpg, so it will only load the jpg images. That's a GTK4 window, it displays the file icons, which we can drag to a target, and it even has an overlay scroll bar. Drop one more and the window stays open till we escape it, which is very convenient. Rip drag can take some parameters. For example, hyphen and S can change the size. Let's make it 120 pixels. And hyphen and I will only display the icons without the file name. I think it works pretty cool, especially if you use tiling managers. Oh, and another thing. If we click on file, we can open it. Although it's a bit buggy, the input grub or something. Um, let me close this. Also, I'm not entirely sure what's the use case here, but we can set the terminal as a target with rip, drag, and T. I can only imagine this can be useful, depending the window placement, for example, if we can't access the terminal. So we can now drop on that rip, drag window, and the contents will be pasted on terminal, but of course we can DND directly on terminal already. I don't really know, but I guess there is a reason. On GitHub, you'll find installation instructions, which are pretty much cargo install rip drag, and also says we can use it together with the fuzzy finder, but it was just crashing. And speaking of bugs, check this out. Um, a second to find it. Okay, this one, Mac user was like, this project is really what I needed on my Mac, and I was super excited about it, and I installed it immediately. But then Linux developer was like, Unfortunately, I confirmed that this is an issue with GTK4 itself in both Mac OS and Windows systems. As soon as the GTK fixes it, it should work automatically on rip drag. When I read this, I had this thought. The first thought crossed my mind. Good job, GTK. Your awful portability killed a Mac OS user dreams. Well done. Um, I heard that GTK5 will stop working on KDE Plasma. Shut up, me. Um, okay. Can we build up on that for a moment? What if GTK5 really stops working on KDE? Can we please have a very constructive discussion on that? Maybe?